Okay, so now we are working to make our vector shapes in Adobe Illustrator, tracing on top of our refined sketch. But we are starting with the pen tool and just making what are called polygonal shapes because they are all straight. And if I want to see the anchor points, I can use the small selection tool, click on it, and then I can see in red on this layer all the individual anchors. So the question is, I might like some of these to be straight, but maybe I also want some curves, right? If I'm trying to match my sketch, there's quite a few curves. So let me swap this again, the fill and the stroke, so I can see my sketch clearly underneath it. And let me show you the different ways we can get curves. This is the most obvious place I want to curve, you know, the outer arc of the wing. So one way is a handy little cheat Instead of plotting Bezier handles out from this anchor point, if I use what's called this cornering tool, I click on the circle and drag, it will spread that one anchor point into multiple anchor points, right? And if I do it to all of them at once, you can see how it kind of averages out all of my straights and you'll see this in a lot of contemporary logo design. So it just rounds the corners the same everywhere. What if I just want to round this corner? Well, then what I need to do, and this is what's tricky in Illustrator, is I need to click off of it with the, the small selection tool, the white pointer, and then I need to hover over it. So I see it like this, and then click it. And now I'm just selecting that anchor point and it allows me to curve that one separately from all the rest. And now that curve is all the way out here. So if I want to keep curving it, sometimes I have to zoom out. And you can see it's averaging that curve by splitting my anchor point and putting a curve between them. And that can be a, an incredibly helpful way to control your design with as few anchor points as possible. So you can see how clean that curve now is using these cornering tools. And then you can have inner curves as well, and they'll be limited based on the angle of your original plot. So maybe I want the feathers to be pointed at the end so I'm going to skip that one so it stays a point and then curve around each one. Skip that one so it stays a point, curve around to the next one. Skip, use the cornering tool. This is not actually plotting curves. So this is an instance where the strokes are a bad idea, but it will get fixed. So let me show you. So when I do this, and then I push it all the way to the end where I want, you see what happens to the outline is it shoots out like this because now there are two anchor points overlapping each other. But when I swap it back, that won't exist. All right. Same thing here. I need to click off, hover on it, click on it while it's white and then I can modify it individually. Because I don't want to change all the curves. I just want to change the ones that are all the anchors into curves. And so some of you will love this. Some of you will be really frustrated by it. It's just the nature of vectors. But it gives you full control. It just isn't at all like drawing. So we're plotting the points and then we're modifying them. We can also move them. So for instance, I can just grab this one point and move it. I'm not happy with where it is.
Now, what if I want to delete an anchor point? I can do that by going to the pin tool and what's called the delete anchor point tool. The minus button is the shortcut for that. And then I just click right on that anchor and it will delete it. And then I can modify from there. So all of this has been working pretty well for me. So that my shape looks like this. And if I swap it, right, and turn off my sketch. But now I might want to modify it. Like I don't like how this shape works and how different that is than this shape. So what can I do? Click off of it hover on it and then I can move the, these anchors exactly where I want them and then I can convert again to curves where I think that's necessary like here and if this curve seems a little too fussy I can find it and maybe I can delete it. And now we get into modifying the curves. So that's what I'm going to teach next. But first, let me get happy with I actually don't like the wings all being um, pointed at the end. So I am going to trim them and change them. Come on. There we go. And turn these into curves. my cornering tool for this. Hmm. There we go. Separate it out, select it. All right, so this is the other technique. Under the pin tool, you'll also see what's called the anchor point tool. Shortcut for that is shift C. This is when you want to turn a straight into a curve. And you do that by clicking and dragging. So you see now I have handles that with the small selection tool, I can manipulate and turn into a curve. So if I just want to round that corner just ever so slightly. There we go. All right, I'm liking how those three look. This is where you get to be really picky about your curves. But remember, you have to select right on the anchor point in order to move it individually. And then we can adjust these curve handles to get the shape you want. And then we can use the cornering to smooth them. Then same thing here. I need to click right on that anchor. Hmm. Is it doing? I'm going to try deleting it. There we go. And then I'm going to play with the curve that goes into it. Oh, it's not doing anything. 
and just kind of move it to where I'm happier with it. Now, if I want to split this so I don't want this straight, I have to separate out the shape and then find that anchor. And I can use the convert anchor point to turn it back into a straight and then click and drag to turn it into the curve of my choice. But this is what gets complicated in Illustrator when you have curves going into curves. Right, like that. So I'm going to bring these together. And so the pin tool, this when you turn into curves, it becomes a lot more kind of problematic. So I'm going to show you how you can now do my favorite tool to fix this kind of thing. So I know this is basically the shape I want. I just want it a little bit smoother, a little bit cleaner. So now I'm going to show you my favorite tool in all of Illustrator. We've talked about the shape tool, talked about the pin tool. Now we're going to use, it's underneath the paintbrush, but it's not the paintbrush. It is the pencil tool, which we never use in Photoshop, but we use all the time in Illustrator. The shortcut for it is the in key. So the pencil tool, if you double click on the tool icon, I like to set it to be more smooth than accurate and then keep all the other defaults. But this tool, you can basically just freehand your shapes, but it can be hard to enclose them, right? And the smoother you set it, the fewer anchor points it will plot. But what I really like about it is not only will it freehand draw paths that then you can fill, but you can also, like magic scissors, modify them and trim their edge or even add to their edge as long as you start on an anchor point and end through an anchor point. Because if you don't, they become an open path. Like that. So how can I use that to modify this? Well, I select it so I can see the anchor points, and then I simply start redrawing that. And you're going to be a little jittery, right? But it will draw what you say and it will plot the anchor points for that and if you think there it's plotting too many anchor points right that's actually not too many one two three four five six it's a little bit more than you could get with the pin tool but it gives you full control because you can always use the magic scissors and smooth it out and then there's another tool which is underneath the pencil tool. I'm glad they've added it back in in 2024 so we don't have to install it. It's called the smooth tool. The smooth tool, you simply click and drag over the top of them and it will average out those anchor points to kind of smooth out curves. The only problem with the smooth tool is you do it on straights. It can soften them. Right. So, that's why I like the pencil tool more, but the smooth tool for when I just want to average things. So I'm going to turn this into a slight curve. There we go. Let's turn this into a slight curve. I don't want the pointed feathers anymore. You can always do Command Z if you go too far. All right, so this is a like, really basic tool control. So now I'm going to smooth it. And I can smooth it in a targeted way by just dragging over the parts I need to smooth out. Or I can use this slider, which is the overall smooth tool, which will average out all of the, the frames or all of the anchors. All right, let's see what that looks like. I like that. So much cleaner than my sketch, right? But gets the spirit of it well. And then because this is central symmetrical design, what can I do? Well, I can select it all. 